Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master. I'm doing a quick video on my lunch break, which I've never done before. Um, gotta have my burrito cool down anyway, so... Um, so this is a quick uh, point about the pandemic team that Biden was proposing. I read some, uh, some new information, and it's unfortunate that this is the case. So, I forgot his name, uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel Manuel and Michael Osterholm are proposed to be part of the team and knowing their public statements about the, vi the virus uh, not very happy with that um, could turn out to be that they just have two you know different points of view other than the other people some of the other people not looking good um, I remember Ezekiel Emanuel months back proposed we're never going back to normal for 18 months. We need lockdowns as long as possible, stuff like that. And then Osterholm was predicting millions, tens of millions, or I don't, I don't think it was tens of millions, but predicting all these deaths and stuff. That so far, it's not great what has happened as far as you know, 230,000 or whatever it is today. But it's nowhere near the alarmism of the early days of course and I think it's leaving a lot of people that were more alarmist about it some of the people would admit that of course there were people that had a contrary point of view to the alarmism early on who were shamed and called all these names you know but now there are being some of them some of their opinions not all of them are being proved proven correct so the good news and the bad news is that there's a vaccine that they say this is good news this vaccine is 90 percent effective it's like well i'm not taking a mandatory vaccine i mean i'm not going to take a vaccine period for this um maybe it was like five years and it, you know this was a threat that i don't know i've never taken a flu vaccine why would i take this vaccine you know um, keep your immune system up. If I'm, you know, like I said, I'm not going to, if there's a mandatory ma vaccine, I will be revolting. Um, if it's mandatory or if there's like, talking about the Great Reset or the social credit scores coming to the United States and shit like that, I'm, in, I'm just fucking revolution. I'll, I'll, I won't survive the 2020s probably because I will fight till the death for freedom. So... Sounds a little nuts, but, you know, I don't know what to expect. You know, my brain goes all over the place. That's just the way I think. I go look at all the outcome, possible outcomes. Best possible outcome for this, as far as what's happening, is that, honestly, the vaccine, some people, you know, a lot of people take it, and then they open shit up anyways. Um, states, a lot of people just like, yeah, it's just... Um, you know, there's just going to have to be, they just decide to open up because it's just like, yeah, we can't survive the restaurant business and all this stuff. And, you know, people are not going to, I mean, people are going to be wearing masks for a while, obviously. Um, uh, all that stuff is going to be the case with regards to them trying to push this shit. Um, but... We could say the best case scenario is that it burns through the population like it's doing in a lot of places. Cases go down enough that the public health officials are like, okay, uh, uh, you know, and then they don't push this stuff as much because the vaccine is already there and all this stuff and, you know, we get back to normal. I, I would say the best case scenario of getting back to normal, honestly, it's ironic because um, Fauci just said something like this. And I'm just like, oh man, this is, I'm quoting Fauci, who I do not like in a lot of ways. Um, second quarter, 2020, um, we'll be back to normal pretty much. Well, a lot of these shows come, we'll have to cancel again, all these tours and stuff that are coming up. So I think it'll be a combination between, this is the best case scenario with realist, realistic uh, expectations with how things are going with. You know, if we're not going on the Great Reset conspiracy theory, which is not really conspiracy theory, it's just a bunch of billionaires jerking off on, you know, Zoom call, not literally, but, you know, some of them are, some newscasters are doing that now. But, um, best case scenario, second quarter of 2020, 
enough people have had the vaccine, enough people have actually had the virus that the cases are just like very low. The thresholds of people's tolerance are so high that they're just fucking, or, or so low that they're just, you know, they have the COVID fatigue and they're just doing shit and things are going a lot better. We're over this for the most part. Of course, the political implications of Biden being president are there too. Of course, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Uh, the Trump supporters are partially right about that. Whether it's a subconscious kind of like, you know, thing that they have about Trump and uh, tying him into the COVID thing. I mean, Biden could do much of the same stuff that Trump did, and they would not bat an eye at supporting it. These people, unfortunately, because they're fucking so up their own ass and partisan hack politics and myopic views on things that they would do that. So, yeah, I'd say my my whole thing is June of 2021, this will be done. Now, I'm going to be doing a video. It's a really fascinating <laughs> video about the astrology aspect of this. Um, but I, I'm going to wait on that, probably do that next couple of days before I get all my stuff to my new apartment. I'll be doing a couple more videos, but that's it.